Marketing is evolving rapidly, and what we're finding within our customers a lot of times as we get org charts and as we see information from senior level marketers about positions they want us to help them recruit for is that the org chart and the organization may not have evolved as rapidly as it should have, right? So what is it that I should have on my team to prepare myself for 2017 that I didn't have in 2015 or 2010 or back prior to that? And the org chart ultimately for 2017 should look very different than it did in 2012. And so the way we kind of peel that onion back and look at it is step by step, right? So if I'm gonna look at marketing and positions that I need to add from a headcount perspective and maybe some old positions that don't need to exist anymore. How do I take the ones that drive the most ROI for the least amount of investment, right? And so it sounds very simplistic, but you know, SEO and organic traffic is 50% of the traffic that's gonna to come to your website or 50% of the traffic that goes on online. And if you don't have a very sophisticated strategy around this, then that's the first thing you need to do because overall it's a very cost-effective process. So now as you look at SEO and bringing more traffic to your site, and there are lots of ways to bring traffic to your site, that's just one example. Ultimately, once they get there, you wanna make sure they have the right user experience, right? And so it's not enough to say, we wanna take this user experience and hand it out to our digital agency. You need someone who's a part of your organization, who's within the fabric of your company, the fabric of your marketing team, who can really make sure that the user experience online portrays the brand, the culture, and everything that your organization is about. So now as you're taking your customers and pushing them to your website and pushing them online and collecting more data and more information about them, it's very important to know that there's security within that data. And there's lots of information out in the press right now that talks about how it is that that data got out inappropriately. And certainly there's gonna be people in your IT department as well as other departments that are focused on data security, but you also need to have someone in marketing because that's where a lot of the data is being collected and that's where a lot of those decisions are being made. One of the biggest shifts we're seeing, and I think this is definitely now more than a trend and definitely evolved into best practices. And this is specifically in the world of B2B and we're seeing a lot within the software space. Historically, organizations have had inside sales teams and inside sales is there for obvious reasons. And historically, those folks have reported into sales. What we're seeing is that now we're moving those individuals out of sales, putting them in marketing so that marketing can better track those leads and that marketing is accountable for the leads they're driving to sales. Right? So if you're looking for marketing qualified leads and then sales qualified leads, that all starts very early in the process by making sure you have the right buyer personas, you have the right data, and you're doing the right research to target those people. And all that information resides in marketing. So then why would you have an inside salesperson that ultimately resides in sales if the information they need to be successful is in marketing? Make marketing accountable for making sure the quality of the leads they're turning over is, are those that are closing and those that are leading to revenue. You know, a lot of what we're recommending will depend on your organization's size. And so it's very easy for us to help our clients understand based on their size, the path they need to go down but specifically where we're still seeing organizations are sh short from a marketing talent perspective is in technology, specifically marketing technology. Right now, marketers are spending more dollars on software and more dollars on technology than folks in IT are. And that's a pretty recent change. So ultimately, do I have someone who's in charge of that marketing technology, be it a chief marketing technologist, a marketing technology officer, specifically reporting to the CMO that can really help evaluate and make those proper decisions. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars of spend, and then we're talking about millions and millions of dollars of potential sales, or billions of dollars of potential sales, and my customer experience riding on the line, do I have someone that understands how to manage that inside the marketing department? One of the key things we're seeing organizations talk about right now, and specifically what organizations are saying is a challenge, is marketing automation. And how do we really evolve that so that it serves our customers and serves our marketing team at a high level? Yet what we're definitely seeing is that too many marketing organizations are thin on resources in that area, and they haven't dedicated the right intellectual horsepower to the problem.
One of the great things about digital marketing and moving more into the digital space is that you're able to market so much more cost effectively. A good example of that is social and consumer organizations and big brands have been very sophisticated about social and how they've utilized that to engage with customers for a long time. What we have found is that B2B organizations have struggled with that more and it's been a more difficult process. And ultimately now that's evolved to the point where B2B is also being very successful with social and really being able to use influencer marketing as a component of that to generate some significant ROI. So if you are in B2B and you've looked at social and said, you know what, this hasn't really worked for me historically, understand that it's not something you can give up on like many areas of digital. You've got to try, be okay with some failure and keep working to move that forward.